media and the Democrats now have enough power to bully, to bully and to lie to and to create propaganda and to successfully win. And that is what happened and they are celebrating. Candace Owens, you'd think in a country like ours, very top, I mean, this is the most first world country that's ever been. You'd think the most civilized and the most just. Here you have to consider a murder case through the lens of politics. When you get to that point, haven't you already given up civilization? Well, that's correct. And what we're really seeing is mob justice. And, and that's really what happened with this entire trial. This was not a trial about George Floyd or Derek Chauvin. This was a trial about whether right. the media uh, was powerful enough to create a simulation and decide upon a narrative absent any facts, whether it was powerful enough to repeat showing and talking about a nine minute clip that came from somebody's cell phone without adding any context, without showing the full, you know, the full police video, which they could have released. They refused to release the full body cam, which would have added more clarity um, to the fact that the media was lying. You know, the media came out. Let's not forget this, Tucker. The media came out and told us that this was a man who was just getting his life together. He was a good, you know, good member of society. And he got mixed up because a racist white police officer had it out for him and, and killed him. All of that fell apart. All of the facts came out and all of that fell apart. But nobody cares because the media was successful and putting out a narrative and they kept hitting that narrative. And the reason why the Democrats are happy is because they realize, of course, the media supports them and now means the Democrats can get whatever they want because they can create a narrative and then they can treat people like pawns and get them to basically say, if we don't get what we want, we will riot, we will loot, we will send these people out like soldiers to destroy your neighborhoods. And that is exactly what has happened. That has been the determination of this trial. The media and the Democrats now have enough power to bully, to bully and to lie to and to create propaganda and to successfully win. And that is what happened. And they are celebrating that win today. This was not a fair trial. Only one side. No person can say this was a fair trial. You just got to take three steps back and acknowledge that only one side behaves this way. I mean, yeah. a, a jury in 1995 concluded that O.J. Simpson, despite DNA evidence, hadn't murdered two people and there were no riots. But more to the point, there are a lot of people sitting behind Trump voters sitting behind bars right now have been for months charged effectively with trespassing. We're not speculating. We've seen the charges. No Republican in the Congress stands up for them. Nobody mentions that nobody, you know, is for prison reform when it's their political enemies. That's not equal justice, but nobody says it. Why is that? Because we have two pandemics going on right now. There's a pandemic of ignorance in this country, and that is only allowed to fly because we also have a pandemic of cowardice in this country. Okay, so we have people oh, that are, are purposefully sure. putting out a bunch of ignorant, ignorant claims, and then we have people that are too cowardly to stand up and say, you know what, this is wrong. Th th there has been so much that has been going on in this country that is wrong. You talk about it, I talk about it, but we do not have people that are sitting in Congress that are willing to take this fight where it needs to be taken. By the way, you bring up Maxine Waters inciting violence. I'm so old, Tucker. I remember when a man said, march peacefully and patriotically to the Capitol, and that was considered an insight to violence, right? That was like, oh my God, stop the press, get this person disappeared from social media because he is calling for violence. Look at what Maxine Waters says. No one, no one in the media is condemning these and uh, condemning these remarks. That same media that contemned, condemned Trump and his supporters for weeks on end is now defending Maxine Waters. And we both know this is not the first time that Maxine Waters has incited violence. Don't forget, rush down. If you see a Trump supporter, you got to rush him down in the restaurants. They're allowed to do this. They play by a different set of rules, but it's because we allow them to play with that different set of rules. They get away with virtually everything because we don't have strong people on our side that are willing to stand up. You know, and, and, and that it's a sad conclusion. It really is so frustrating. And the idea of martyring George Floyd, the way Nancy Pelosi spoke about him, it completely forgives all of the trauma that he brought against his victims while he was alive. You know, a man that served you know, seven plus stints in prison while he was alive, armed robbery being two of the reasons why. And now we're going to martyr him and say that your name will forever be synonymous with justice. Imagine, Tucker, if you are one of his victims that is alive, one of his victims that he armed robbed, and you have to hear that this man's name 
will always be synonymous with justice. How would that feel to you? I feel like we are living in fiction right now in America. We are losing this country and we are living in fiction because people are not strong enough to call out this stuff. And I feel like I'm one of the only ones who has the courage to say I will not be mobbed into a different reality. and I've been talking about where one side ferociously defends its power, the other side abandons its voters to jail. I wonder, though, is there a point where just ordinary people can say, you know, I, I'm not in control of politics, but you're not allowed to block my street with a protest or intimidate me uh, on my front lawn or break into my store and steal stuff. Like, I'm going to defend my family. I'm going to defend my business. You don't have a right to do that. There's no justification for riots anymore, and I'm just not going to put up with it. No. Will we get to that why, point, do you think? No, we're not going to. That's why they're already moving the ball. They're already moving it. They're moving the goalpost already because they're saying right now that that's not enough. That wasn't justice, by the way, because what they're saying is what they want is a perpetual revolution. It's why they want people to be ignorant. It's why they want people in the education system to learn nothing but race and how to be angry. They want people acting like toddlers because when people are ignorant, they act like toddlers. They whine, they complain, they cry because they are absent facts. They are absent knowledge. So we are actually seeing a system oppression that is taking place that is rotten it is throughout our the propaganda that's taking place in the mainstream media and it is working with the education institutions teaching critical race theory and all of this nonsense to make sure that we are mass producing failures that are angry and that are violent and that are willing to riot and loot on behalf of the democrats because that's all they want right now are pawns in their nefarious scheme to take over